Today I'm working on a wall shelf. Uh, it's for my hallway. I want it to be sort of demi-lune table inspired, but no legs because I don't have the room. You can see I've already cut my curved tabletop, but I need a curved apron. Unfortunately, you can't go to the lumber yard and buy curved lumber. Well, at least not on purpose. So, uh, what we did is we ripped down a piece of stock here into a bunch of veneers that we're going to glue up and then wrap around our form and let that cure. That will be our curved apron. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. I prepared the pieces for my lamination over at the bandsaw. I set the fence to cut slightly oversized for my final thickness, keeping in mind I'll be stacking these strips to achieve a full 3 quarter inch thickness. It's always a good idea to cut a couple extras, depending on how the rest of the process goes. To make sure my glued piece holds well, I want a smooth and even surface on all edges of the piece. So I head to the planer and carefully run each strip on both sides until the sawing marks are gone and everything's at a uniform thickness. That's it. Now it's over to the bench to work on the glue up. All right, so Bob, um, we're gonna be gluing up this lamination. Yep. What would you recommend? Well, since it's gonna take a lot of time to kind of get this together, get mm -hmm. this clamped up, we're gonna kind of move to type on three this time. It's okay. gonna have the longer working time. Uh, give us plenty of time to relax while we're doing this, while we're spreading the glue. In a lot of cases, if you're using type on original or type on two for these particular applications, you're gonna to have to go pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I know you're gonna have assistance on this one, but working alone on some of these projects can be uh, rather daunting in, in terms of getting the glue down in time, so. And you brought some special tools with you. I did. What we want to look at on, on these particular ones is you want, we're going to use a trowel. And for mm -hmm. larger surface areas, uh, a trowel works very well because it spreads the glue very fast and, and puts down uh, the right amount of glue. Uh, the glue brush would do that also, but It'd be not, a lot of moving back and forth. Right. <laughs> yeah. Not enough time to get that down. So we're going to use a trowel in this case, and we're going to glue up and put it down. So. Let's start moving. So let's go and work with one. We're gonna put glue on one side. Okay. And get it spread as quickly as we can. So you wanna get a good amount of glue down and then get it, get it spread down and you can take it and move it in the direction that you need to put a little more glue where you need it as you go. This can be a rather messy operation, so don't be afraid of getting glue all over the place. You want to make sure that the, the wood is wet in all areas. Move it around. Um, put more glue where you need it. Again, this type on three is going to allow you to take that little extra time to, to, to get it done. So. See, a little faster than doing it by fi with your finger, right? Absolutely. All right, you ready? Yep. So then we can place the second one down. Again, that stops the open time for that. Now we have total assembly time. We got 20 to 25 minutes to get that in the clamp. So should be plenty of time as we move to the second one here. And the objective is just to get the right amount of glue down, mm -hmm. make sure it covers the surface, then you're ready for that next and this one. This is our last one. So we're good there. Now comes the clamping. And I think we have some special help for that, don't we? I think we do. We need another hand for those clamps. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Carl. Thanks for joining hey, us. Clamping time. Clamping. So we've uh, built our form here. We've got Thank some you. holes in the top. 
yes, and so you're going to need to clamp your glue up around your form, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, traditionally, we would have been using a lot of clamps similar to this one. Mm -hmm. And the downside to these clamps is that you're always wrapping your knuckles on your work surface. Now, today we have a new product that does away with that. Our newest clamp gives you a lot of clearance and makes it easy for you to tighten it up because the tightening handle is now wrapped around the clamp's rail. So lots of room for your hand between the work surface and whatever it is you're doing. So let's get a bunch of these put on there. All right. So I guess we want to start in the middle. Yep. And work our way around. Okay, that can be a little daunting on, yeah. on your own. <laughs> so we're looking at waiting, so the time necessary for that to cure, uh, typically overnight, 24 hours. Uh, you wanna take a look at the squeeze out, see how that's uh, hardening up over time, and that'll give you a good op idea of where the glue is uh, in the drying process. Great, we'll let that cure up overnight, and we'll show you the finished product in the morning. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we've got our moment of truth. We've let our glue cure for 24 hours. We're gonna take it out of the clamps. Let's hope this works. <laughs> There we have it. It's our, our form. Um, as you can see, it's stuck to the paper as the glue dried, but we're cleaning up these edges anyway. It was a little bit of a messy process, so I'm gonna get the bench cleaned up, we're gonna clean up the rail, and we'll show you the final results in just a sec. With the apron fully cured, I take a moment to make sure I have one good edge to use as a reference when I'm cutting it to size and length. Next, I set the bandsaw fence to cut wider than my final dimension, and I run the apron through the saw with my smoothed edge against the fence. Then, I reset the saw to my final dimension, flip the apron around, and cut to the final size. I've got my apron roughed out to size for my shelf top. A little bit more finishing work to do on the apron and the top, but I'm pretty close to having a nice demi loon hall shelf for my hallway. Doing a bent lamination is a little bit tricky, but if you're up for a challenge, it sure is a lot of fun. We'll see you next time.